Hi, I'm Amanda Oakley. I'm a dermatologist at Waikato Hospital. Everyone needs to protect their skin from too much sun, but some people need to be more careful than others. These include those who have fair skin that burns easily and tans poorly at all ages, people who've had a melanoma or another form of skin cancer, and people whose skin is already showing signs of sun damage. The sun's ultraviolet or UV rays damage our skin and cause aging changes such as dryness, discoloration and wrinkles, scaly spots called solar or actinic keratoses and skin cancers including melanoma. UV rays are being emitted throughout the day all year but they're stronger and do more damage when the sun is directly overhead. More UV is emitted in the north of New Zealand than in the south. More UV is emitted in summer than in winter. More UV is emitted in the middle part of the day compared to early morning and evening. UV is nothing to do with heat, so UV rays can be strong when it's a relatively cold summer's day. UV rays are even stronger when they're reflected by sea and sand, or when you're up a mountain where they're reflected by snow. So what can we do to look after our skin when we're outside? If possible, avoid the midday sun. Try not to spend too much time outside during the peak sunshine hours. That's between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. If you are going to be outside, you should cover your skin as much as possible by wearing long pants or skirt and a long sleeved shirt. Remember to wear a broad brimmed hat. Nowadays, there are plenty of options of lightweight sunwear for swimming and sports. Look out for clothing that reflects heat and UV rays while you stay cool and protected. Some fabrics and clothes are marked with a UV protection factor or UPF number. The higher the number, the better the protection. You'll find these at specialty sports stores. In addition to covering up with clothes, sunscreen is great for covering up the rest of our bare bits. However, don't let sunscreen give you a full sense of security. Wearing sunscreen does not mean that you can stay out in the sun all day long and not get sun damage. Whatever the weather, aim to apply sunscreen to the areas that you haven't managed to cover up, especially your face, neck and hands. When choosing a sunscreen, Read the label carefully to make sure it gives you the best protection. Look for one that has a sun protection factor or SPF of 50 plus. Is broad spectrum, that means both UVA and UVB cover, and is water resistant. Sunscreen's only effective if you apply it correctly. Did you know that an average sized adult needs about 30 grams? That's six teaspoonfuls of sunscreen for adequate cover. That's a teaspoon for each arm, leg, hand, foot, head and neck. So, apply generously to your skin at least 20 minutes before heading outside and then reapply regularly during the day if you're out for longer.